Hey there, awesome parents. If you are feeling overwhelmed by the sea of extracurricular activities available for your child, then I have some great news for you. You can go from overwhelm to confidence and confusion into clarity as you go into this exciting journey with me and unpacking my easy six-step guide to choosing the best extracurricular activity for your child's development. Hey, my name is Kat and I'm thrilled to be your guide on this transformative journey. Today's video is the first in a series of eight videos where I will take you through my parent framework. Today is all about a high level overview, which will serve as your quick and easy roadmap to confident decision making and choosing the right activity for your child. If you're finding value in this video, go ahead and click like and subscribe. It really helps the channel grow. And if you haven't downloaded the free PDF copy yet, make sure you check the description box below for the link so that you can always refer back to it when you're choosing an activity for your child. All right, let's dive in. The P in parent stands for purpose. Purpose is the driving force behind every decision. Ask yourself, why are you choosing this particular activity for your child? What specific goals are you aiming to achieve? And does this particular activity align with your family values? Understanding the purpose from the very beginning sets the foundation for a meaningful journey. The A for parent stands for active. Ask yourself, will you have time to be fully engaged, attending the practices, cheering from the sidelines, or helping with practice at home? If time is a constraint, explore alternative methods of support such as fostering independence, offering emotional support, or providing resources that are in alignment with your schedule. The R in parent stands for requirements. Get acquainted with all the details. Know what is going to be the cost, the schedule, and any other required commitments involved. Knowing all of the requirements beforehand will really ensure a smoother journey. In my deep dive on requirements, I'm going to share 15 questions that you should ask before committing to an activity. Some of those questions are quite obvious and some of them are questions you may not have thought of, so make sure you stay tuned for that. The E in parent is for expectations. Expectations set the tone. Ask yourself, what are you expecting from your child in this activity? Is it about developing a lifelong passion and Maybe doing that activity for just the pure joy of doing the activity? Or are you expecting your child to go pro level at this particular activity? Clear expectations really pave the way for a harmonious journey. The end for parent is navigate. Navigating the ups and downs of the learning process is part of the journey. Ask yourself, are you going to help navigate your kids through the ups and downs of the learning journey from their enjoyment and celebrating their victories to the time when they really don't like the activity anymore because it's challenging or it's tough and they've hit a wall or are you just going to let them quit when the challenges arise the t in parent stands for time time is a crucial factor ask yourself how long will it take your child to really and truly develop this skill is this a short-term commitment or a long-term journey understanding the time investment out of you and your child helps you plan and commit wisely so there you have it, a high level overview of my parent framework. Stay tuned for video number two while I do a deep dive along with actionable tips and strategies for the P in parent, which stands for purpose. Thanks again for watching. I'll see you in the next video. And if you haven't yet, click like and subscribe.